this is this is another version of question one uh, why 25 physics three alternative a take it down take it down so you have to tighten it to the table and this is the only place I feel like we can use the G clamp. You have to tighten it like this. And, uh, so, so that 5 cm is here, protrudes out. Yeah. Fair. I have videos on G clamp experiments. Now, this. This is the one gram that is given. So, in the other videos, the one hundred gram is fixed at the center of the of the ruler throughout the experiment, and you have to be increasing the masses, beginning from 20, 40, 60. So, as you are changing the masses, the the what the period of oscillation is also changing. Now, this only one mass is given. So, this is, what, this is what will happen. Since only one mass is given, you may be asked to start maybe with, uh, with 20, put the mass at 20, you fasten it, something like this. In fact, let me just do it so that we we'll see what happens. Put the mass at 20, the mass is fixed at 20 cm mark. And so you'll be asked to displace it for 20 oscillation. To displace this uh, for 20 oscillations. Now take it close. Uh, going up and coming down is one oscillation. Going up and coming down is one, two, three. Is 20 oscillation. So I want us to test something. I'll put it, I'll put it at 20 cm, I'll shift at 40, at 60, and see if the period of oscillation will change. And if that happens, then this is also one experiment you may expect in uh, question number one. Okay, let's try it and see. I'll just tap it up gently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, I got 7, I got 7.00 7 seconds. Okay. So I want to shift it to, I want to shift it to 40 now. Let's see what happens. Okay. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, this time I got seven point four three seconds. I want to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I got seven points for one second. Okay, let me shift it to to eighty. Okay, to sixty. At 60 cm mark, let's go. 60 cm mark, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You see, I got 9.19 seconds. I think, let's go with this particular value. At 60, I got 
Okay, at uh, when t was uh, was at at forty, right? Okay, at at sixty, at sixty, at sixty, uh, sixty point zero zero cm. Our t is what? Our t is nine point one nine point one nine seconds. Now let's do the last value at eighty. Let's see what happens at 80. Even at 70, let's see. At 70. Let's, see. let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here I got 10.00. 10.00. So, when L is a... Um, is 70.0 cm, t is 10.00. Then let's look at the last value, let's put it at 80. Let's put it at 80. Okay, let's roll it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You see, I got 11. 11 points. So, L equals to 80.00. T is equal to 11.22 seconds. So, this is a possible version of question number one mechanics. Y2025 alternative A question. So this setup, this is by filler experiment and this is the G cam experiment where the masses were put at different strategic position. The G cam is here, the meter room is here, the, the mass is here, the solo tape is here, the stop watch is here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Five apparatus are here. When you come here, you have what? You have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. This one has eight apparatus. And so I am suspecting this one or this one. So now the table of values for this one is exactly the table of values for this one. The only thing you need to do is in the place of the remaining position from what? Of this. So in this case, this, these are the length of the thread here. The, the position we're varying here stands for the length of the thread. So the table of values you saw me plot for this one is exactly the same way with this one. So here too you are going to run it twice to be sure of your uh, of your period of oscillation. So you take T1, T2 and then you take T average.